Welcome to The Phoenix Rising, a podcast that brings you a combination of astrology, energy healing, intuitive coaching, and readings, all with a purpose to help you connect to your intuition, learn how to transform your life, and regain your healing power. I am your host, Laura Teal. Welcome to The Phoenix Rising. I am Laura Teal. This is Season 4, Episode 37. And I want to share with you um, a post that I published on Instagram um, last year, actually. It was at uh, the time where I was going through a big transition in my life, uh, moving from Quebec to Ontario, Canada. Um, this was a big, big step. And I was just uh, looking back into some of the work and some of the things that I've published. And uh, I... I realized that this one I never shared it, shared it here, and um, it's still so alive for me, all of this experience, I'm still going through this big transition. So I wanted to um, share it with you and then continue also uh, the second part of the story because it's not fully done. So. Um, Back then, uh, that was in April last year, I was saying that I was going through important life changes. And um, having Pluto in conjunction, Pluto is the, the planet of you know soul transformation. It really invites you to um, gain, regain your power, take your power back, and allow your soul to evolve. That's what... Pluto really wants soul's evolution. And having Pluto in conjunction with my ascendant, with the, the ascendant is who you are. This is, by the way, a once in a lifetime event. And uh, when this happens, it stays there for a long time because Pluto moving so slow, um, it stays in each sign for many, many years. And I've been in this demand of transformation for some time um, and uh, it's really demanding uh, change it was doing it back then it still is right now urging me to a profound transformation to reinvent myself so this phase in my journey is shaking me uh, from my roots um, and is asking me to shift many things, to give freedom to the parts of my soul that are asking me to emerge. But for that, though, I know that uh, I need it, and I still do need to let the old burn. Uh, when we do this, we create space. We create the space so that we can grow and sprout. And I, I want to do this. It's something that uh, it's my desire. So last year at some point, and I think I may have shared that uh, in some uh, podcast, in some episode, that I, I decided to support my kids in their own evolution and expansion and their own growth moving out of Quebec to Ontario. I really believe that it, it would... It, would, it was a great option for them. And, and time, it's been already a year that we moved. And uh, it has proven that for them it has been the, a very good decision. Um, so after, you know, a lot of thinking, meditating and checking in with my soul, I put the house on the market. Um, Yet, back then, things weren't working uh, the way I hoped for. Like, the first offer fell after the potential buyers were requesting more renovation receipts than I had. Uh, you know, I'm a single mom, and uh, I, I sometimes I, I just pay cash. So I don't have to pay the taxes. So I don't have receipts for everything. And uh, this is really doing the best uh, I can under the situation. Second buyer, after the 14, uh, 14 conditional days, 
um, he was requesting extra time, which I felt really wasn't aligned with my needs. Um, so we were gone with the third offer. So that entire process was really shaking me from inside, driving me to ask myself mostly two questions. What is meant for me and how do I feel? Which takes me further in, in the story um, that I'm sharing. You know how I love, you know, cards, tarot oracles, and other tools that help me connect to my intuition and the uh, and to spirit guidance. So having a lot of emotions mixing up in my heart, you know, hope, fear, joy, sadness, confusion, and at the same time, direction. It, it was really um, the duality present in many aspects. I was called to take some me time and go to my personal hideout, which is really my, my office where I have my altar, with the need to reconnect. So I pulled out a card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle and I pulled out the card of the Holy Mountain. So this is what it said. Uh, the Holy Mountain um, is inviting you to go on a sacred journey, to acquire vision and perspective. To accept the present situation as an opportunity to discover higher understanding. To walk with courage, love and compassion until you, until you see with clarity the perfection of all. It also uh, asks me or asked me uh, to not let my doubts deter me and keep me bound. To leap over challenges. And to remember that from the top of the mountain, there are no obstacles, only beauty and an obstructed view of the entire earth. So back then in that moment when I read those words, it was really powerful to me. I thought, this is really beautiful. I had tears in my eyes. It was a very uh, emotional moment for me. This message is was utterly real to me and exactly what I needed in that precise time. And I continue, you know, with my openness and my curiosity. What if I climb that mountain? What would I see? What am I meant to envision from the top? How would I feel? So this is not, this is just part of that story. I will come back and I will share with you uh, part two. Um, I'll tell you what happened when I climbed that mountain and what I saw. Remember uh, that you are wonderful and that if you are in a, in a transition like I was and am, this has been a long transition, honestly, um, we just need to continue walking on our journey and revise the alignment with the decisions uh, that we take, how aligned um, are we with our steps, are we doing it because we feel that we are forced to or we're doing it because we really love um, where we're walking. And I have made some changes along the way once I moved and um, it, I was uh, concentrated mainly on, on my kids' transitions, uh, trying to, you know, help them and support them in the best way possible, giving them the attention, the love, and uh, the, um, the attention they needed to, to understand that they are wonderful human beings and uh, they're not alone you know, walking their own path that mom is here. And uh, so I decided to put uh, my own career kind of like uh, on the side. Um, and now uh, I am ready to retake this or retake myself in and my career as an important objective of mine, an important goal. I want to continue growing and continue growing as I'm as a professional, um, but it hasn't been easy. 
it hasn't been easy. Um, it has definitely it, it continues to shake me down to the core. Uh, I find that the the most difficult part, of course, is the unknown, and and this is because this is the thing with transitions. You are in the void. You are in the unknown, which reminds me a lot of the card of the hanged man. Uh, with the hanged man, you are kind of like in limbo, practically, because you are you feel like you're hanging. And you're not advancing, you're not moving backwards, forwards, you're not moving to the sides, you're not moving anywhere. But I need to um, remind myself, and I, I remind you as well, if you are going through this a similar transition in life, ending something, trying to begin something uh, else, it is in this void, it is in this unknown that we have a lot more opportunity because it uh, allows us to think outside of the, bo the box, to see something, to, th to see things differently from another angle, from another perspective, and to reevaluate ourselves, to check out that alignment that I was telling you about. It really allows us to reconnect to not only who we truly are, but our true desires and what moves us, what motivates us. To then take the decisions and, and course correct because you are allowed to course correct. If you, um, if you took a decision and uh, you maybe, you know, you were expecting certain things, you were moving towards a goal, but it doesn't happen, that doesn't mean that you know, you were wrong, it was the wrong way. This a whole experience allows you to, to move then, to course correct, to take uh, another direction that is still also in alignment, but maybe the other thing is not the time. So uh, this is where I am at right now. I don't know like what is meant for me yet, what is going to happen, that's what I mean. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, just, I just know that I am navigating through life right now, making sure that I'm walking my path and, and I'm big on this, you know, I have my path and I'm walking towards it. And, uh, it may, there may be some other, um, a fork on the road that I need to take certain decisions on where I'm going to turn. Am I going this way? Am I going the other way? But the power to decide is always mine. I get to choose. That's the also the beauty of these transitions, you know, gaining or regaining or reconnecting to your own power and getting a hold uh, of your life, your decisions, your life. Again, do I perfectly know what's going to happen? No, but that's the thing. I need to I need to let the universe do its things. I need to allow the mystery of life to show me what is out there for me. So this is what I wanted to share for now. I will come back and I will continue with uh, the second part of my story how I did uh, a journey to that holy mountain and what I saw. See you soon.